All right, so the next move is gonna be a basic sit up. All right, so proper form here. You wanna plant those feet on the floor. Feet are about hip width distance apart. We're gonna lie all the way down, extend those arms behind our head, okay? We're gonna use some momentum from our arms to sit up. But the key here is to not lift those feet as you come up from the floor. You ready, Hank? Yeah, I'm ready. We're gonna do a few different reps. All right, there so ready? Go. Three, two, one. We're gonna sit all the way up, reach for those toes, and then back down. All the way up and back down. So the key here is to control it right here, right? So you don't wanna just fall and let all that body weight release. You wanna think about those muscles controlling all the way down, okay? You can use your arms here as momentum and press those feet into the floor, right? So that's gonna activate all of your lower abdominal muscles as well. All right, give me two more, Hank. Two, and one, nice job. All right, so this next movement is called a burpee. It's Hank's favorite <laughs> exercise because um, it makes him lot. sweat pretty well. All right, so we're going to break it down first, and then we're going to show you a couple reps with the full movement, okay? So breaking down a burpee, so what we're going to do is we're going to shoot our hips back into a plank. So we're going to pla place our hands down, shoot our uh, legs back into a plank, come all the way down to the floor, push back up, shoot those legs back in, and then jump, leap up. Okay, one more time, break it down, plant those hands, jump back into plank, all the way down, push back up, jump in, and leap up, all right? So, even though I broke that down, it's not several movements. The burpee is one big movement. So we're gonna show you a couple reps of this one big move, movement. You ready, Hank? I'm ready. All right, give me five reps. Okay. You got this, ready? Three, yeah. two, one, go. Jump up, one. Two, three, give me two more. Last one. Nice work. Woo. All right, this next move is called a T drill. So we're gonna get into a plank position and then we're gonna rotate towards each side to form a T drill. So high plank position here. You're gonna extend those legs out straight, pull the core in, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift the, your weight towards one side as you rotate towards the ceiling, lift that arm up, back to the center, and switch. So my feet are rotating, and I'm keeping that core strong as I rotate and reach for the ceiling and look up. All right, give me two more reps, Hank. Now, what are some of the mistakes people can make with this, with this uh, exercise? So some of the mistakes people can make is drooping through the hips, right, and rotating and keeping those hips drooped. So you wanna keep those hips lifted, right? So activating those obliques here. And we're looking up towards that ceiling, okay? Now, what about overextension? I always often see people like way yep. back here. Is that so necessary? You, it, it won't hurt you, but you can, just to, for stability um, purposes, you wanna keep it right in line. And reach hand, for the sky? Yep, and that hand and shoulders. You wanna think about all those joints lining up, right? So my wrist, my elbow, and my shoulder are lined up, as well as this side of my body too. Although they're not easy, they feel pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Nice work. All right, next exercise is gonna be a plank. So we're gonna demonstrate two different versions, a high plank and a low plank. So I'm gonna have Hank get into a low plank, because it's a little bit harder, right? You like to see your coach sweat a little bit. So he's gonna um, focus on lining up those shoulders with his elbows, he's gonna lengthen through the top of his head. He's keeping his head lifted, right? So his neck is in line with his spine, right? He's not drooping through the hips. So he's keeping those hips lifted, pulling in through the core, and he's not avoiding, he's avoiding keeping those hips up. And he's extending through the legs, through those heels, right? So his legs are working here too. So everything in a plank. I'm shaking is quite a bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So that's a low plank. And then what I'm gonna show you guys is I'm gonna. Um, come into a high plank, same form that Hank was in. Okay, I'm gonna extend through the back of my heels, lift my head up so that my head, neck is in line with my spine, and I'm just extending everything out. I'm pulling in through the belly button and breathing in through the nose. And if you need a little help with this, you could move your feet apart. Your finger point, fingers are pointing forward and not out to the side. You could also, I believe, separate them if you want a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more help with your shoulders. You should feel this where? Core? Your whole core, so your whole abdominal muscle, your shoulders, your legs are gonna take on some of that weight. And if you want a little bit more of a challenging plank, all you gotta do is lift one leg. But make sure you really keep everything nice and strong here, okay? You can alternate if you want. 
It's not easy, is it? No, I'm shaking. <laughs> when you're done with your workout, it's always good to do some stretching. If you noticed in the beginning of the workout, we did some dynamic movements to warm up. End of workout, we could do some stretching. We're gonna do some of my favorite stretches. One of them's gonna look familiar because it's also part of the warm up. You're gonna get down on your knees, you're gonna get into a Spider Man. All right, from here, I like to do two things. Take your right hand, grab the right foot, left arm in the air, you can do that four or five times, and you can put the left arm down, right arm in the air, okay? Also from the same position, I like doing some trunk twists. Now again, probably a better one to do would be arm reaches, it's a little less on your lower back, but nonetheless a good stretch. From here, again, put your left arm down, Right hand on your leg, push that knee out a little bit, feel that in your hip flexor, feels really nice, and then you can lean back into a hamstring stretch. Or maybe grab your toe, point the toe, pull it towards you, sit back, maybe get your butt up a little bit, head, chest towards the knee. Okay, so you feel it right in the back of your hamstring. Now you can do this on both sides, which will take you about you know, three or four minutes. The last one I like doing, which is a little bit more advanced, you gotta be careful because you don't want to feel this in your knee, you want to feel this more in your hips. Push up position, leg underneath, and just relax. You should feel this here. You should not feel it in your knee. If you feel it in your knee, take your opposite hip and roll towards. We're not acting your, your, your hip and roll towards the floor. And if you could even get a little lower, head, head down, arms out. The last one I'm going to show you, if you could get to a wall in your house, it's great for your shoulders, stretching them out a little bit more by dynamic movement than a stretch, but nonetheless really good. Get your arms out, reach them up, come on back down. Okay, wall slides. Really good. Again, if you're having a little hard time with your hands on the wall, probably you need to lo uh, loosen up those shoulders. If nothing else, Try and hold as best you can, or maybe it's holding a reach. Either way, just trying to get those shoulders back and stretching out those muscles a little bit in the front upper pecs and in your back, which I believe are your scaps and your lats, and just a little bit of stretching at the end of your workout.